Hello, Versus Education here with the fifth video of the Unreal Development Kit beginner series. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use uh, CSG operations with your BSP brush to create the most simplest form of geometry which you will have in your level in the form of a white box. So, in the previous video, we made a level plan which I don't actually have up at the moment, but I will get it in a moment. Anyway, we have a level plan, and this is essentially the groundwork and the foundations for our level so having said that this is essentially um the most primitive form of geometry which all of your different objects are going to be uh built around so you know you might not necessarily have just a sort of interior level with all bsp you almost you ah, you probably might even have uh some form of terrain as well which i'll show in the next video but in this video i'll be teaching you how to create your bsp block out and you can see here i've got my lovely sto uh, i've got my lovely uh level plan here which uh, actually looks somewhat similar to the uh lovely lovely um white box which I've created here. Keep in mind I am going to be using this, I just created this ahead of the actual video itself so that I have something to show you. Um, I won't necessarily be able to record uh, creating the whole white box as it takes a significant amount of time, uh, more time than the 15 minute upload limit, however in this video I will be giving you all the necessary knowledge and uh, techniques to actually build this. This is actually pretty simple, there's only like two different kinds of brushes here. Uh, three kinds of brushes, we have a cylinder, we have some stairs over there too, and we also have some uh, blocks which I've just uh, got intersecting each other, uh, I've got some subtractions, I've got some additions, and you know, all that cool stuff. So, let's begin. Firstly, you know, I told you in uh, one of the previous videos, we actually have brushes on here on the left hand side, such as the cubes. Um, one second, let me just go get to my brush so you guys can see this better. And uh, I apologize for the racket in the background, that is just uh, some of my siblings messing around like complete and utter, uh, I'm not even going to word it. But anyway, you know, on the left hand side here, we've got some brushes, we've got cubes, we've got cones, we've got curved sta uh, staircases, cylinders, linear staircases, and so on. But, uh, you know, this isn't just a brush, keep that in mind. And if I actually go ahead and choose a square brush, put it here, and then go ahead and press play, you will see that nothing has actually happened inside of the level itself. Having said that, you know, we need to do some kind of process or operation to add in the, sort of the physical geometry. So we can do this by using uh, the CSG operations that we have on the left hand side here. So the most, uh, the most important ones you want to note here are um, add and subtract. Pretty much just like in maths, you add something in and you uh, can also take something away. So I'm just going to move it here and I'm going to take it away and you can see it's just left me with the bottom part because I uh, took away some of the bits on top. Anyway, that's just pretty, that's just pretty much how you make a shape. Uh, you can also do other things like uh, intersections. So I can go ahead and just put it over a little bit and what intersect does it essentially just selects geometry inside of the box and then wraps the bu uh, the BSP brush around that so we actually can duplicate a physical brush so I'm gonna show you that by making a weird but somewhat cool shape so what am I going to use I am going to use uh, I'm going to use this so hello uh, let's add in some kind of physical geometry and then I'm going to add in another part here. And then I'm going to use a brush, a square brush here, to select the whole thing. And it's, and it's going to uh, turn this whole geometry into a physical brush that we can essentially duplicate. Other than just, uh, as opposed to just copying, pasting what we have. Oops, not good, wrong button. There we go, intersect, and we've got this lovely brush of my two little... Uh, weird things. Anyway, that's intersect. I'll leave you to work out what de-intersect means. Uh, in the meantime, you know, just try around with some of the brushes, see what you can create. I also mentioned that uh, UDK has uh, specific modes for different uh, purposes. So having said that, uh, we actually have a a mode called geometry mode specifically for white boxing your level or just generally working with BSP geometry. This essentially allows us to advance on what we actually have uh, there so we can actually 
create our own custom shapes out of pre-made shapes as opposed to just using very very basic blocks for example if i go ahead and uh i i, I stay in the uh, normal perspective camera mode i can't actually select vertices i can't select lines i can't select faces all i can do is use rotate and scale in uniform and non-uniform whereas with geometry mode i can actually select specific parts and then manipulate them as so you know moving specific parts i can uh move specific vertices like this so i can make cool weird shapes so I can even uh, select multiple of them at the same time and I won't necessarily be damaging or generally screwing with uh, the shapes. For example, I can drag this up, I can then go around and do the same with these ones because I feel like it. And you can see, oops, I selected the face like, uh, like an idiot. Anyway, you can see that I can just generally make more complex, somewhat uh, disgusting, but complex shapes and this generally allows us to do a lot. So, let's show you an example of where you might use some uh, vertices, uh, moving of vertices. So, for example, let's say I want to make a slope or something like that. I'm going to... Uh, actually, no, I'm just going to do it with a line, if I can actually select it, because selecting a line is just essentially the same as selecting two of these different vertices. Albeit, selecting a line is incredibly hard, which really, really gets on my nerves, because... Jesus. Wait, did I select it there? Ah, oh, god damn it. Um, okay, I, I give up. We're trying to select that line. I'm just going to go ahead and select my two vertices, and I'm going to drag them down a bit, and you can see that it's making a bit of a slope, and I can do the same on the other side to even make a sort of triangle shape. And, uh, yeah. You can also uh, make additions to this geometry, so you're not necessarily just limited with the uh, amount of vertices or faces or lines that you started off with. For example, over here you can see we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, so we've got 8 vertices there, uh, just the same as a normal square does. And now I'm going to make some additions using the extrude tool. If you've ever done any 3D modeling before, you're probably going to be pretty familiar with... Uh, extrusions so let's just go ahead and select a face and we will begin extruding it uh there we go so we got the left uh sorry the right face uh selected so let's go ahead and see what extrude does so i can choose a length here i'm not too sure what these are measured in uh unreal units or whatever but i'm just going to go ahead and choose a length and this length is going to be this is going to be 100 let's go ahead and press apply so it extrudes it out and uh, i don't know what just happened there Okay, so you can see that I have actually extruded out my lovely face that I have here. You know, it's added in an additional compartment or segment to uh, my level, uh, sorry, my brush which I'm working with. And I can do this numerous times. So, for example, if I want to, I can go ahead and press 250. Uh, I can... I can make loads and loads of extra bits. I can even make a house if I really, really want to. But, you know, at the end of the day, you can create whatever you want with this. Uh, you can also extrude manually, other than using specific measurements. Sometimes this isn't as much as uh, accurate. However, you know, it just makes things a lot easier. So let's go ahead and press extrude. And I'm just going to drag this out as so. There we go. And we've got the extra extrusion. And... As you can see here, it's added on that segment, so we have an additional uh, bunch of faces, one, two, three, I don't know, like five extra faces, and then I can even extrude these faces so I can get even more complex shapes. So I'm just going to go around and make a sort of donut shape with loads and loads of different segments which I have, just to show you the true extent of what this can do. One more, so no, I need two more extrusions I think now. And you can see that I actually have a bit in the middle which is missed out here. So, and uh, you'll probably see that better if I go ahead and press add. Big massive hole in the middle. You can even make houses and, you know, walls and buildings like this. Uh, because the geometry mode is a pretty uh, powerful tool and uh, it's good to utilize it. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about your geometry mode. You should be able to create a bunch of complex shapes. Maybe even a house if you're... Uh, 
you know, if you picked it up really well, and uh, you can create something like this. This is actually really, really incredibly simple, and uh, I don't think you should have any problems with it. And the last thing before I finish off the video is uh, a bunch of brush properties. So, when we're using one of these preset brushes, we can actually choose the values uh, for that brush. For example, we can choose hollow, which means there'll be no inside. If I go ahead and press add, you can see uh, that if I fly inside of it, which is proving somewhat difficult, uh, there isn't actually an inside. So, we can actually make another, um, we can make an addition, uh, sorry, an ah, okay, a subtraction to that and actually build a door. So we can actually uh, physically get inside of that. So let's go ahead and do this now. Just gonna make this uh, a little bit smaller, just so I don't go screwing it up completely. Let's go ahead and press subtract, and boom, we have our door. This is essentially how you, how most people like to make little buildings uh, in its in their most simplest form. So. You know, that's pretty much everything you should need. I don't think there's anything else that I need to cover. Try to build your white box as I have done. This is just the flooring for mine. But uh, I would like you to try and build the white box for your level uh, using the tools that I have created. And I'm pretty sure that I am confident that you should be able to. So, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And in the next video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use terrain geometry because, uh, because as I said before, you're not necessarily just going to have solid uh, flat geometry. So, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!